Good morning. Pastor Jerome Ferris here, and this is The Gift. Grow your faith today. Today's word, set apart for God's divine purpose. Coming out of 1 John chapter 2, verse 27, where it says, But the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you, and ye need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teacheth you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie, and even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. In Old Testament times, pouring olive oil on uh, something or someone was a sign that was being anointed, was being set apart for God's special use. High priests, rulers, and objects used in God's temple were all anointed and viewed as sacred. Jesus himself was often referred to as the anointed one, which in the meaning of Messiah in Hebrew and Jesus in the Greek. Through Jesus' sacrifice, you too have been become an, an anointed one. Instead of being anointed with oil, you have been anointed with God's own spirit. You've been set aside, set apart for God's use in this world. In the Old Testament, God occasionally anointed people like David and Saul uh, with the gift of his spirit. But there, before Jesus came to earth, this, this kind of anointing wasn't, wasn't permanent. Uh, God's spirit could be taken away like it was for ruler Saul, when Saul became uh, lax at how he would follow God. But thanks to Jesus, the anointing of God's Spirit will never be taken away from you. God's Spirit sets you apart and becomes your personal teacher and trainer. He helps you understand Scripture, see things more clearly from God's perspective, and and discern between God's truth and religious sounding lies. However, you can only experience a part of God's spirit while you're here on earth. That means your understanding of God, uh, understanding of his word and his ways is still imperfect. But God's spirit, hallelujah, will help lead you where you need to go in this life. Shall we pray? Eternal God, our Heavenly Father, we praise you. We thank you for, Lord, again, your, your spirit. Uh, we thank you for the anointing on our lives and that your spirit is, is here to lead us and guide us and teach us and train us in your ways and in your commands. And so, God, we thank you for giving us what we need in order that we may Live a life that is pleasing, a life that is holy, a life, Lord God, that others might see uh, our good works and that, Lord, you will get glory. A life that will point uh, uh, others to you and to Jesus Christ and, 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 and what he did, that we may have life in it more abundantly, an eternal life, a life that will be with you forever. We thank you once again for this gift. Bless us now as we go about doing your will. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. We thank the Lord. Uh, you know, although God's Spirit is, is our primary teacher, uh, we can still learn a lot from other people. And, and, and it's important, however, that they have the Spirit of God in them that they too might recognize truth. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Well, we thank the Lord again. Uh, it is Monday and, and God have been good. Uh, we look forward to the Lord blessing us uh, uh, this upcoming week with his word. Continue to keep us in your prayers. Please share this word with someone today. And the Lord's will will be back on tomorrow with another word from the Lord. And as always, remember, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.